Good afternoon, Zodiac. Welcome to the Collective Soul Family Read for whoever resonates us for the 4th of October. And I'm uh, just trying to reach out to uh, my Soul Tribe Collective here. See if you resonate. If you like the heart spreads, um, starting today, I'll be doing also the singles readings again for specifically super, totally, and completely single people who do not have anyone on their mind. Um, and that's the Meet the Soulmate Read. Oh, right now, let's uh, try to keep this short and I'll give you an idea of where I'm at too with this reading. I'll read myself into it a little bit and I conceive it just like Terrence McKenna said, find the others um, or the others that relate to us who's in our soul tribe. Okay, so it's for manifestation more and spirituality less so than a love uh, reading like the heart spread or singles read. I do keep relationships in mind. I think it's how we grow primarily. Hermit dad I am. Still kind of. Okay. Thinking of Mars a lot lately. It's like kind of the like everybody's the retrogrades. Oh my God. Now there's everything's retrograde. Mm. Iced coffee. Excuse me. It's kind of hot. I'm in Cancun, Mexico. I knew digs. Making the best of it for now. Transition. So. Mars I think is like. Um. I get, even though it's in Libra, you know, it's, I don't think it's, I think it's dealing with relationships, but it's dealing with the way of kind of like F you Saturn, F you Jupiter, F you, F you, F you. And it's kind of like, um, I feel like it's a great time with this uh, new moon, a couple days energy, if you're manifesting, to really kind of uh, punch, you know, with what we really want. Um, think the reverse of Libra and Aries. <laughs> um, terms of love and relationships so but I just see Mars coming in kind of standing off against everything and saying screw all of you um, you know I'm gonna do what I wanna and I think it's a good time to kind of do what you want I mean obviously by now we think if you're watching this channel I mean you've been for years doing a good work you know besting um, soul work shadow work everything um, and I think now I thought Mars was big when it hit uh, Venus uh, back in um, July it's still big, you know. Just steady doing its own thing, man. It doesn't really care what anybody else does. That's the good part about Mars. So, what I'm saying today for the fourth, kind of asking spirit with just a four card draw like I regularly do. Uh, what can you tell us about what actions uh, might need to be taken? Son. <laughs> what did I say? If, if, if you're here, hello. If you're here, leave a comment. I want to know, this is someone, you don't get the sun without having done the work. I mean, you don't just wake up and get blessed because it's a blessing. I use my little beats because it's a bit windy. So, you know, um, if you were in the sun energy, um, you know, yeah, and you've been doing the work. I mean, I see it kind of a reward, a, uh, a beautiful place to be. It's a, I'm feeling it, although, you know, I'm at a, I was on my belly. So now I'm feeling like kind of a little bit better. Maybe I'm up on my knees. Uh, but this is a, a uplifting energy. you got to be feeling physically better. Um, you know, looking better. People may be telling you, hey, you know, you're looking good. Um, that kind of thing. Um, it's great energy to be in. Um, and wow, what am I saying? Wow. So what actions do we need to take? Now this is reversed. So because this is the blocking position now. So what's blocking us? Uh, in terms of the action we need to take. And, um, you know, I see Seven of Pentacles in this kind of reading. It's not really about reciprocation. Maybe it's kind of like this is uh, the Pentacles, like doing what needs to be done, you know, like practical things. It's all kind of speaking to me. Sixth house transit of Saturn now. It's been banging away for a while in my sixth house of Aquarius. And I'm really getting it now about routines and help. I mean, I'm 62 almost. Um, so well, I've just really done the tighten up over the last year more and more um, So and I see the seven of Pentacles, you know examining the harvest. It's examining what practically are we doing? This is like from brushing your teeth uh, Self-care going to the doctor getting exercise Meditating if that's part of it all of the really practical Day-to-day -day things and that's crossing us and it's like that's where we're kind of maybe having some kind of weakness um, really you could almost say Take this down to, to your day-to-day -day schedule. 
<clears throat> and what is this? Balancing. Right on. And spirit. Thank you, spirit. I mean, come on. This is the card of the day of balancing practical things, day-to-day -day practical things. I say this all the time about this card. It's good energy. We're doing our yoga. We're getting our exercise. We're eating, drinking our shake. We're doing our work. We're leaving a little side uh, time to do uh, relationship stuff, like love someone and give our tids, kids attention, whatever it needs being done. But this does take like some effort. And it's like, thank you, Spirit. I know you're speaking right to me. <laughs> it does take some effort. It really does. <laughs> mm -hmm. But again, man, it's that sixth house stuff. I mean, it's that Virgo, it's health, but it's also the Virgo, it's details. Um, I literally made a list. And I never make lists. Libra. Libra. Libra moons? Tell me you're Libra moon. You don't make lists. You're a freak. <laughs> There's your moons and something weird going on with your moon. So Libra's all about that. You know, plus and minus and examining things, weighing, balancing. That's what this is. And like kind of what I'm thinking. For myself, something's got to give. Like I can't do everything like the way I used to do it and keep doing more and more uh, actual things, you know. Uh, that I'm doing in my life it's just it's not even just work it's uh, you know it is relationships and stuff as well you know I want to have that balance and it's, uh, it's not all that easy you know you got two cards of weighing seven of Pentacles is weighing you know your time and energy where you actually putting your energy and the two of Pentacles is bringing that into some kind of balance and very most likely it's gonna mean make decisions about cutting out something um, practical and now the nine of pinnacles and where do we end up very solid here this is the energy of, it could say the happy bachelor but it's being uh, self-contained this is what this is uh, soul family self-contained beautiful card to get for us right here so it's not a love read from this energy here you go to the ten of pinnacles you go to the ten of cups from this energy here you go where you want you like we're in control because we've balanced our pinnacles bottom of the deck page of cups overall energy is the page of cups I gotta say it like this this could be like a water person having some input into this in a loving way I kind of know who that is for me Pisces moon um, person um, but um, also this is just like kind of giving ourselves a little love and it's corny but I think as the overall energy because you know you have a lot of pinnacles here there's a lot of work and so we got to remember the self-care end of it and what it means to really love ourselves. I think we are because we end up in the Knight of Pentacles, you know. We got this. <laughs> Guys, thank you.